All right, welcome back to the channel. We haven't made a video in a very, very long time, but we're gonna try to get back to it, especially with these catch and cooks. We're gonna put our take on catch and cook today. We're out here in beautiful Los Angeles, California. It's December, it's almost 80 degrees. The water's looking clear and uh, yeah, we have our spear guns. We're gonna go see what we can't get. Probably shoot a couple perch today and try to get some fish tacos in. All right, the water's looking pretty clear. We're just hiking. We have to hike like about a half a mile to the spot that we dive at. But uh, yeah, it's looking good, it's looking good. So we'll keep hiking here. So Kendrick got one little 15 inch uh, sheep head in California. They only need to be 12 inches here. It was a pretty slow day out there, but we should be able to make four nice tacos out of this. I'm gonna cook it up right here. Just gonna get this delay off right now. We forgot the cutting board, so we had to improvise, but what's a catch and cook without improvising? Corona time. All right, we're just getting some vegetables chopped up here as an appetizer, and then uh, we got the fish as the main course over here. Let's get it. All right, so we just got our propane tanks, the mini ones, or is that butane, one of those, and then we have our camp stove top. You can get that on Amazon or eBay for like 20 bucks for the top, and it'll fit on any of those the older thing. Oh, we gotta add some water. I have some in my bag, I'll put it in a second. I got some food. All right, the batter we're gonna use is just the Louisiana fish fry. I like the shrimp fry one better, but you could use the fish fry one. Or you could use even the chicken one, but we're gonna get that in the bag, get the fish fillets batter. Chop up the cilantro, we got the onions, we're just gonna grill those onions on the side. And yeah, let's see how it comes out. All right, so the onions and bell peppers, they're coming along nice here. All right, so we're gonna put the battered fish in here. Our two fillets. And that'll make four uh, small street tacos. All right, so we just took the fish out here. We're just gonna try to pick a few of the small bones out. And then what we're gonna do is just refry it a little longer because sheep head, it's a, it's a mushy meat. So if you want it to be a little bit less mushy, then you could fry it longer than normal. So that's what we're gonna do right now. And then we got our toppings here. We have cilantro, we have our cabbage, just the regular. We have lime, I haven't cut the lime yet. And uh, I actually made a mango salsa already at home to save time, show them the mango salsa. So yeah, we have a mango salsa right here and that'll go nicely with it. All right, so we improvised and made a little table out of this big flat piece of sandstone here. It's nice and sturdy. We wiped the sand off so we're not eating sand. But uh, yeah, you'll notice we're using that as our table for the day. And uh, we're using the fin as the cutting board, but we're not putting any hot food on the fin because, you know, I don't want that uh, BPA tacos or whatever. So since we only have a... Um, the two fillets that'll make four tacos. We're actually gonna fry the remainder of the tortillas. Usually we try to get eight tacos, but today we're just gonna make four and we're gonna fry the rest of the tortillas since we do have a lot of this mango salsa here that I made at home. And uh, we'll eat the mango salsa, the remainder with the tortilla chips here. All right, so yeah, we're frying the excess tortillas up. Here's the receipt for all, all the ingredients. It came out to less than $5. I know you can't really see it, but yeah, shout out to Superior Groceries. If you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. But all the uh, produce and ingredients besides the fish, because we didn't have the fish, we just caught the fish, came out to about five bucks. So that's nice. All right, so here's the finished product. We made some vegetarian tostadas over here. 
because we didn't have uh, too many fillets, but we were able to pull out four tacos over here. So those four over there, those are actually uh, the fish tacos, and these are what we had with our extra ingredients. So you know, it's all good, it's all good. And uh, that one fish is uh, plenty for us for the afternoon for lunch. But yeah, that's what we are working with here. So let me know in the comments, like how much would you guys, uh, how much would you guys pay for these at a, at a restaurant? So I like to watch other kitchen cooks and see what other people are cooking but uh yeah here's um my take on it our take on it and uh yeah i hope you guys enjoy we'll get some pictures of them go from over here looks good from right here i can see the ocean in the background Again, we use this rock as an improvised table. We took all the sand off of it, so there shouldn't be too much sand in the food, but a bit of sand doesn't hurt. All right, that is it for the day. Now we're just doing our little half a mile walk back to the car. But it's a scenic walk, so it's not too bad. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the catch and cook, and hopefully, we can get some more of those pretty soon. See ya!